This is Electric Universe Geology Earth News. This is going to be a brief update on Upheaval Dome. I have some other images I should have found earlier. Um, sometimes I'm not happy with myself. I was standing right about here, looking in this direction over here. I might have been this way a little bit more, but basically I'm looking from south to north, a little bit to the east, and you can see what's going on here. And before I leave this, I'd like to add that while this was happening, I think it's raining. And that's why this is here, because this was happening the entire time. From the very beginning of these formations, there was water draining down to the Green River as these formations grew around the drainage. As there's a hurricane going on, that's what's causing this. It was a giant hurricane full of dust. So it's, it's, it's wet material in many cases. Excuse the dogs. Anyway, so I'm this way, looking this way. Now we'll look at some images. This shows what I think is definite layering coming in towards the center. This up here gives it away. So it's not being pushed out from the center, it's being pulled in and this would be the key to this. Now a couple of other images. This area here implies to me that it's not only coming in like this, but there is a clockwise component as one of the gentlemen on the uh, comments section had mentioned from the original post. That's why I'm doing this. So I don't think you could get this if the wind was blowing from right to left this would happen only if the wind was blowing from left to right. So I think that shows that it's inward. The stuff is coming in, being sucked into the center of the vortex, and this is where it's accumulating. And I think it's probably clockwise. Although, it's, that would be my A. There's, you know, probably other explanations. I'd like to go back and look at it again, although it's, it's a little bit of a hike. Uh, one more image. This is a small close-up from the last shot. My computer's humming right now. It's overheated a little bit. Pardon the extra hum on top of the normal hum. Anyway, this is looking at the last shot, but it's a close-up, just down a little bit from the top. And it shows what's considered desert varnish. It's high in mag manganese, and there's not enough manganese within the rock to explain it. So there has to be either transmutation through bacteria or microbes, or it's an electrical event scorching the outside in a directional manner. And this is one of the this is the very first thing I saw as I started my journey towards looking at rocks. So yeah, this black stuff, I think, has something to do with the process. And it was hot at times even though it's raining, causing the drainage to be there at the low spot where you'd expect the drainage to be. It just all makes sense. It's so easy. When there's rain and there's a formation growing around it, it explains the thousand foot difference. By the way, the, 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 the dome is a thousand feet deep. It's a three thousand foot across structure. It's a thousand feet deep. But that's still much too big to be eroded over with the available water from seasonal storms. A hurricane would be a different thing as it's happening because it's not having to go over the top. It's preventing it from the very beginning. The water prevents it doesn't erode. Thank you.